when I relocated my shop from Tennessee back to Florida, I left my old shop press there. I'd had it for about 25 years. It was a real small, flimsy 10-ton press, and it was just heavy to move, and a friend of mine needed it, so I gave it to him. And because of my relationship with Northern Tool and Equipment through my Sons of Speed vintage motorcycle racing, NTE sent me the Strongway 50-ton pneumatic hydraulic press, which you normally use to press a, a bearing into a case or out of a case or a shaft out of a bearing. You know, generally use it for mechanical things. But I'm going to show you how I use this to fabricate some of my sheet metal projects. In my old press, you had to grab the bed and lift it up and then put the bed pins in. This thing comes with a winch. <laughs> so nice. They're making it too easy for me. Now just go ahead and drop the bed down on the bed pins. This panel is pretty fl flimsy right now. I'm going to drill some lightning holes in it to remove weight. And I'm going to dimple them with these dimple dies that I have. Um, so you know that this kind of serves a dual purpose. You know, drilling the center hole out where I'm going to dimple and putting the lightning holes in the metal is going to go ahead and uh, take remove weight. But then when I dimple it, it's also going to make the panel stronger and make it not want to bend so easy. So it kind of serves a dual purpose. But I put these inside my aluminum gas tanks a lot because, you know, the aluminum uh, tanks are more subject to vibration and cracking on a Harley-Davidson. So I always put these internal panels in to help strengthen them. To, so when the weight of all the fuel is inside the tank, shaking the tank around, these bulkheads help hold it in shape and just give it some strength. But one of the things you got to do when you put lightning holes in something is you want to have the space between the lightning hole smaller than the diameter of the hole. So what I've done with the panel is I've divided it into three rows of where I'm going to put the holes. So that each one of these lines is going to be the center line of some of these holes. Then I'm going to stagger. I'll put two here, one here, two here, one here, and so on down the panel. And I'm going to start with the bigger holes and then move to a smaller hole and then move to a smaller hole yet until I get down to smaller holes at the very tail of the panel. Okay, so what I've done is I've marked where I'm going to drill all my holes. I have to drill the holes first before I can punch the dimples in them. This is the hole, and this is just kind of the mark of the die because you've got to realize the hole is going to be here, but then the flare that I'm going to stamp with the strong way press is going to be bigger than the hole. These lines ensure for me that after I dimple this hole, that when I go to dimple this hole, my dimple from this one isn't going to interfere with the die placement on this hole. I know it sounds complicated, but you'll see how it goes as I go through it. So I just mark the size. I'm going to drill each hole so that as I go down, I don't drill the wrong size by accident and screw my panel up. So I just went and measured them all and marked them with a Sharpie. And now I'm going to cut these holes on the drill press with my Blair cutters. And to drill these last couple of holes that are three quarter inches in diameter, I don't have a three quarter inch diameter hole saw or Blair cutter. So I'm using one of these Ironton step drills. I've got one here in the chuck now, and the step drill is denoted on the inside of the step here and tells you which size it is. So on this step drill, the largest step is three quarters of a diameter. This thing cuts sequentially, so as you push the bit through the metal, it gets larger and larger and larger as it goes. So it steps all the way from one quarter inch all the way to three quarters of an inch without you having to change bits. It gives you a nice clean cut at the end. I've got the internal aluminum tank panel all drilled, cleaned up with the DA sander, ready to be dimpled. So let's get to what we came here to do, which is using the dimple dies in the strong way, pneumatic hydraulic press to dimple this aluminum. This is a neat process. You're going to enjoy watching this. I'm going to do my big two inch holes first. So I'm going to start with my two inch dimple die and there's a male female die. So I lay my part over the die. And then I put the male part into the female part of the die and put it under the press. Now I'm going to extend the ram of the press with this air trigger. Now 
Then I just release the pressure. Now check this out. Here's my first dimple. What? So now I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process in the other two inch hole. I'm ready to dimple these last two holes on the strong way press and we're done. I got this other side skin clamped onto the tank. I'm just gonna start tack welding. You know it's good if I'm putting a chopper zinc sticker on it. I'm really happy with the press. I mean, you know, I was just telling you the beginning, as I was telling you in the beginning, my, my other press was a 10 or 12 ton press. This is 50 tons. I mean, they can handle anything I'm gonna do here in my motorcycle shop. But you know, it's not just for motorcycles. I mean, it's for anything mechanical, you know, pressing bearings on the shafts and in and out of cases and, you know, just putting races into cases. I mean, there's so many applications for a good hydraulic shop press. I also use it for fabricating, you know, if you're building custom motorcycles or hot rods or custom muffler vehicles, diesels, anything. I mean, it's really great. And I tell you the one thing I love about it the most is that it's pneumatic. I can just 
instead of having to pump the hydraulic ram with my hand, now I have both hands accessible or I just have to push the trigger real quick with my thumb. I'm just gonna take this hand trigger off and put a foot switch on it so that I can actuate the air by foot. Then I have both hands available to do whatever I'm doing up here on the table. Um, just a really versatile piece of equipment. Super happy I got it. Um, give one a try. Strong white press available from Northern Tool and Equipment. Remember I'll show you how flimsy that piece was. Now it's so rigid because I've got all these dimples in it. I, it's really hard for me to bend it. This adds a lot of strength, adds strength to my fuel tank. What are you building? Hot rods, off-road vehicles, diesels, custom motorcycles. If you can dimple a piece of sheet metal, it adds to the look of it. It adds strength, adds character, and it makes you a better craftsman in the shop. That's us, just working hard in the USA.